previously on YouTube's The Drawing Dead. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Not at four in the morning today. Uh, I will be in Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada, for the 50th World Series of Poker from June 17th to June 27th, for sure. That's a lock. I'm not fucking leaving. The show goes on. They're going to need to send in the National Guard a fucking SWAT team, because I ain't going nowhere. In one mile, make a slight right turn on Avenue of the Hiltons. Tell me how does it feel, living that good life? Never ever really have to think twice about Who you step on, you'll just pay the breakaway Send them the bill when you can today So today... I'm late. I'm running super late. I didn't wake up until 1.45. Troopers game at the Westgate starts at 2. It's now about 3 o'clock, and I'm just getting to the Westgate. I'm hungry. I need coffee, which I just purchased. So now I'm going to head into Troopers game for a little bit. Why I stayed up so late last night is beyond me. It's 4 in the damn morning. Do I really need to start a session at Bally's at four in the damn morning? I ain't playing. I'm going to bed. Talk about making it where everybody's chasing it. Like their minds are made up or some would say brainwash. Pay attention to the chaos. Cause it's too simple to get lost. Tell me what does it mean once you reach the top. Yeah. You weren't going to come until I said something. No, I 100% was going to come. 100%. 100. I wasn't supposed to be in town. What you drinking? I got coffee. What kind of coffee? Go gamble the fuck blend. Oh, that's right, you do. Oh, you got that up in here too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Heard the falls real bad. Is it worth it to you? Selling your soul because it's something you told. Tell me. Another Thursday, another day at Troopers game, only this time I'm super late. I sit down at the second table and almost immediately catch fire, picking up Queens, my second or third hand. Two early position players limp, and a nice kid from St. Louis, whom I don't know, that's on his way to Iceland, raises it up to $13. Zero chance I let that slide, and I bump the action to 40 Action folds back around to Iceland, and he makes the call. I'm buying some fame right here. It's just up to Iceland. I did. I told everyone I thought. I'm sorry. Forty dollar fame. Heads up, we see ten six eight rainbow, and he checks it to me. This isn't the most disconnected board in the world, and since players in these games don't typically fold over cards, nor do they fold if they've hit a piece of the board, I expect to get looked up here a large percentage of the time if I bet. 70. I say $70 and begin cutting out my chips when he snap folds. I still continue just piling in chips though, for practice. Heard the falls real bad, is it worth it to you? Selling your soul, cause it's something you told. Tell me, how can you go on living this way, ignoring the pain? Trust me, your heart will eventually stop drowning out the fears that live under your bed. It's so he raised my button from the field. Is it on me? Yeah, I told you. I ain't gonna look. going for a ball pot here, right? Four players. 
<laughs> Feels like something. Yeah, that looks like something I might have. That's 30. <laughs> How much is it? 144? Yeah. All right, he's going to do it. My button is my button. Two pair. Uh, I was getting coffee. I was getting coffee. Ace, ace of clubs, four of clubs, deuce of spades, jack of clubs, seven of something. <laughs> Selling your soul, cut to something you told. Tell me, how can you go on living this way, ignoring the pain? Trust me, your heart will eventually stop drown out the fears that live under your bed. It's so in your head, you got blood on your head. Trying to be a good man, baby. Looks like you're just lost. Oh, you worth and things you bought. You got blood on your head, baby. Trying to be a good man, baby. Looks like you're just lost. Oh, when you work and things you fall. So it's about five o'clock. Still here at the Troopers game, but not for uh, much longer. Gonna head down to Atomic Liquors because uh, Andrew Nimi's holding a little pop-up shop thing. So we'll swing by that, have a couple drinks, not get too crazy, because it's gonna be a long night of grinding tonight. A long night of grinding. But until then, I'm having an enjoyable time playing 1-3 at the Troopers game. A much more laid back game than some of the games I've been playing here in Vegas. We're here, we're having fun. I've had one drink and I'm up. A couple hundred bucks. Not too bad for waking up and running late all damn morning, huh? Oh, I check. Ace high. They're hard rigs. <laughs> All right, Ace King high. Actually, I got a four. Oh, four is so Nice hand.
Did you put your chips in the wrap? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drink tonight. <laughs> So we're out of here, all done with the Troopers game. And I did pretty well in the Troopers game. I always seem to do pretty well in the Troopers game. In for uh, 300, out for 604. So the full double up and $4. Tell me how does it feel living that good life? Never ever really had to think twice about who you step on, you just pay the breakaway. Send them the bill when you can't. So now on to the next thing, Andrew Nimi's pop-up shop at Atomic Liquors. I believe it's on Fremont Street. I guess I better find out before I go, huh? shop and we are starving we haven't eaten all damn day and I rain delay Derek Gomez who is sitting here and this guy what's up guys Johnny vibes aren't gonna are gonna enjoy some uh, nacho daddies after nacho daddies we're getting into a game I'm getting into a game because I gotta punt somewhere we're punting tonight we're punting, we're punting tonight. Guys, I just spent all night editing a video, but now I'm with my main man, Jamin Burton. If you guys haven't checked out his memes, his vlogs, <laughs> anything about him, I'm gonna link him right here so you guys can check him out because this is one funny man. And we uh, we have finally found our way to a casino. Bellagio. The beautiful Bellagio Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's what it is. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get into a poker game. I haven't played any poker at all today. I haven't played any poker at all today. We all go a little mad sometimes. Into this poker game time with uh, this guy. You gonna punt? I'm gonna try not to punt, but I'm feeling punty. You just in the mood? I'm in the mood. 
I'm in the mood for poker. I'm in the mood to try not to punt. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. You'd think after the debacle at the Golden Nugget a few days prior, I would have learned my lesson and chosen not to play poker with even a drop of alcohol in me. You'd think. As you saw, Randalee and I headed back to the Bellagio to wrap up the night there. It's about 1 in the morning, I'm not drunk, but I can definitely tell that I've had a drink or two, and I've been in this 5-10 game for about 20 minutes. In that 20 minutes? All I've basically done is fold. The guy directly to my left, however, in that same 20 minutes has rebought twice and quite literally played every hand. Every. Single. One. Here, he puts on a $20 straddle under the gun and next to act calls. A player in middle position raises, quite small honestly, to $60 and it folds around to the small blind who also calls. I look down at pocket kings. Is this real life? I raise it up to $310 and the 100% V-Pipping Straddler snap calls. Next to Act Folds and the original Razor who has me covered jams all in. The small blind quickly folds and this is a pretty slam dunk all in for me. I move all in as well. I'm all in. I'm all in. You would think that with the original Razor moving all in, me moving all in, and since the straddler just flatted my $310 three bet, that him moving all in would be a surprise. It isn't. And he does. Three of us. All in. The pot is pushing about $5,000 and the original Razor asked us if we want to run it once or twice. Once, sir. Just once. Win or lose, this will be the biggest pot ever played on this vlog. Since I'm leaving Vegas the next day, this hand will most likely decide whether I leave winner or loser over these two weeks. Let's, uh, hope I win? Unfortunately, my camera, which had been giving me some trouble over the last couple of days, decided to crap out at this point. Luckily, it waited to do so until this hand was over, so all you really missed is seeing the dealer pushing me a pot of about 4.7k. I got him! Great I did record this hand with Ace Queen. But unfortunately, I didn't take any notes on the board. But what I can tell you from watching the video is that I lost about $400 to the guy in the four seat with the red shirt. And it wasn't just me winning big pots. My friend Ashley, who you first saw on the vlog where I punted at the Golden Nugget and was also at Andrew's pop-up shop, she was scooping in monsters too. I played ace queen horribly and then gave the guy 320 on the river for some odd reason. Well, that was quite the interesting session at Bellagio. I didn't even get in the game until 12.30 or 1 o'clock. That's a little bit late, even for Vegas. As you saw, 
Or maybe you didn't see. Guess it depends on how I edit this thing. I was car dead for the vast majority of the session. Until I tripled up with Pocket Kings. Then I picked up another couple hands after that. Then I picked up another couple hands after the Kings. One a smidge more. And about an hour after that, just called it a night. So now I'm on the track to Bally's, which I guarantee you I won't be playing tonight. I need to get a good night's rest because tomorrow's my last day here, my last full day here. So in the Bellagio 510 game for $1,500, out for $5,281. So a good session, good session at the Bellagio, good session this afternoon at Troopers game. And now it's time to call it a night. It's time to lay down my head. It's time to get some sleep so that tomorrow I'll be rested and ready to go and not dragging like I was for the majority of today. So if you like the videos, make sure you're subscribed. Leave me a comment down below and I will probably respond and hit the uh, thumbs up icon and I will catch you tomorrow bye the world series poker adventure ends next time on the drawing dead the Bally's Poker Gods let me pick up Ace, Queen, and Raise. I know that you're curious. Let's know go that you're strong, there. But and it is all about the things you get into. And I got into some things. We got into some things. Go. We're better off tomorrow. But who knows? Who knows? I start thinking about goodbyes too long, I'll start to cry. And nobody wants to see me crying on the vlog. I didn't get a chance to, no, so I still wish you the best. No, I wanted to, I wanted to throw a hundred bucks. I was not around the computer. What the? But now, but now, so now. I just lost seven viewers. Okay, I lost seven. seven, dude. That's nice. There's coffee over there. Small blind for one, sir. Hey, you too, buddy. You getting out of here? That guy's going to Iceland. Iceland. So in the 510 game at the Bellagio for 1500 and out for and out for 5,281. And I don't want to wake up at two in the afternoon like I did today. So I don't want to wake up at two. I don't want to wake up at two in the afternoon like I did today. A good night at the Bellagio, a good day. I did make it over to the Westgate, but I'm hungry and I need coffee. Let's knock the coffee out first. Focus.